we just took a cake out of the oven on the cubic mini stove and I want to show you how to basically cook on it pipe wrapped in car header tape still got a nice flame so after you're done using the oven you just take the lid off then you got the base you take the cast iron griddle and you place it on top of the stove and let that plate heat up then you can put your cast iron skillets or your teapot on it the things that you cook to be safe now if, if you're in a sailboat this wouldn't be you know too safe and a park camper like this you can take and put you know cook a ham and warm up some eggs make some pancakes pretty safe you know you wouldn't want to be frying bacon in here I don't think you wouldn't want to smell anyhow so you just cook uh, minimal stuff for two people this is a two-person camper and uh, let's talk about how you fire the stove I like to fire the stove using this in viral log it's it's wax cardboard and I break off hunks and then I'll put two pieces of about five inches wood in the stove and uh, what you do here is after you get the cardboard lit and heat up you put the two pieces of wood in shut the door immediately you don't want any smoke to ever come out people that open the door and play with the fire that is so wrong leave that door closed and why you want to do that because a handful of smoke can smoke up your beds and everything I never have that in the camper because I fire it shut the door leave it shut let it burn down the coals then feed it again never open it with an open fire with smoke rolling out and you'll never have any problem so it's a good little working stove just don't ever overstuff it you can't stuff it full of you know 10 logs and expect it's going to be able to breathe or burn properly it, it's actually going to burn cooler with more wood so two pieces of wood like that will burn two hours and turn the coals you get up you throw two more in you know and it keeps it doggone hot in here if you look that's approaching the 600 degree mark and uh, you may get away with just throwing one log in there you know and uh, once you got a good coal base going just throw one in there and it'll keep you warm all day so the cubic mini stove if you say it doesn't work well then you're doing something wrong you gotta feed it lightly you gotta hook it up right you gotta make sure the reason I put the car header uh, tape on the pipe as I've said in other videos the faster your flu heats up the better draw you're gonna get so people are using double wall I couldn't because the oven won't allow the double wall it's too big and there's not enough space so I had to use the uh, tape now when I first put that tape on there's a burn off period where it smokes and I thought boy is this gonna catch fire but it's rated up to 2000 and something degrees and uh, 20, 22 or 2600 degrees as soon as that burn off stopped the smoke stopped opened the doors I was fine so now I've got like a double wall going that I can lay my hand on that tape, believe it or not, and it's almost 600 degrees. It's hot, but if there wasn't that tape there, I'd have been singed. So that's how you do it. That's how you cook. That's how you uh, enjoy the stove. In the summertime, put a candle in there and uh, enjoy the stove that away clean it out and put a little candle in there so I just wanted to give a shout out about the stove because too many people overfill it and uh, I've had this 
I've done the same thing. I overfilled it and had smoke rolling in. Opened the door, poked it out. Had to wash the sheets and you know it was like what am I doing wrong? Well I wouldn't it was me. I thought I wanted to blame the stove but as soon as you light that fire shut that door let it burn down the coals then feed it. Never open the door when it's got fire going. Don't let the smoke come out. If there's no smoke just coals that next piece to take off really quick and uh, you'll be just fine. And like I said, you don't have, I think the more wood you stuff in it, the more you hinder the stove. It's a small space, so let it do its work with small wood. That's all I got, so letting the lemon cake cool and getting ready to put icing on it. Thanks a lot.